boy, you know what sucks? When you start a new medicine and you forget you should take it. <laughs> uh, the doctor uh, switched uh, fluid pills on me. Last one really didn't do nothing. Took my medicine like normal this morning, didn't think nothing of it. Got out in the cold and I'm like, okay. Got the wrong place. <laughs> oh boy, I think that medicine works. Yeah. I might lose a hundred pounds, who knows? Get rid of this fluid. <laughs> anyway, well, things are a little better today. Got something laying over here in the seat that uh, after the wife and I got back yesterday, uh, there was a message left for me to check somewhere and I went out and checked and I had a surprise. So we're gonna go out and uh, see how well it works. So. Alright, let's see what we can get done today, and then I got a message to go look at a vehicle, and I just tried calling them to find out what's going on for sure, and no answer, but he might be where he can't hear me, so anyway, um, let's go see what, what we got, alright, okay. Oh, jeepers, ay ay ay. ay. I might be serious about losing some poundage today. Oh my god. That medicine's working. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, anyway. Well, okay. I said we got something new to play with. Well, we do. Let's see. Right here it is. Can you guess what that is? Kind of looks a little goofy right now, don't it? Well, it's not exactly together correctly. You take that out, that sits there. You've got this piece here. You got that piece with a notch out of it. You got this piece that's been squared off in that. And you got this great big two chunk of two by three by five inch metal with a hole in it. Well, this is for the press to, uh, let's see, just a second here, sorry, get the piss oh, this slides through, okay, all right, sorry about that, okay, say so we got our, okay, let's get her mocked up here. This is a tool for the press. Okay, you got your. Aha. Ah, okay. Ah, I should have had him do that one. Okay. That's no big deal. Okay, we found our first goof. Had him set it up for 350 and 400, uh, 454s, but I thought this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah. Oh, hey, nope, we didn't goof, we didn't goof. Okay, we'll get that one. And, uh, see? Okay, I see I want to take the sharpness off these corners. I want to 45 that now because of the piston. Okay. And, uh, dang it, let's see, how can I set you up here? I know. I know one of you guys are going, I told you how to do this. <laughs> All right, okay. And then this would be in the press. This here fits the wrist pin. And let's see. It should go. Aha. Okay, well, yep, we got to do a little redesigning for that one. This one here, got a lot of. All right, let me come right back here. Okay, this was an old uh, piston and I had to take some sandpaper to the wrist pin area because it was uh, galled up. Okay, now let's try this. So that would fit this piston here. And then, okay. <laughs> trying to do this as a mock-up. This would be in the press and there would be a rod hanging off of here. Oh, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Okay. 
I got these stuff. And this is not a normal situation because this rod and a 400 rod have been honed out. They are no longer press fit. So I could uh, test fit pistons with different rod lengths. So, okay, now. Okay, here's how it would be going into the jig. Then uh, you got that lined up there. It's supporting the piston. And then this here comes in. And then you'd uh, run your press, push it down, lift it off, and then pull that out, and voila! You have saved yourself some money. And then the wrist pin falls through, so you catch that. So, I guess I'll have to send him this 400 small block piston and have him make one more die, because in order for it to fit, yeah, 400 piston is just a little different. In order for it to fit this one, well, I guess he could do that. But anyway, uh, yeah, that would change that. I'll just send him this piston, and just we'll just make one more die. That's that simple. So, then I'll be set up for 350s, 400s, and 454s. So, that was all made out of scrap material that the school had that he's going. He's doing computer aided uh, design and all that. I don't know. So, I guess I'll uh, let him know that he should have taken this one because. I guess this one's 400 small blocks. I knew they were bigger pistons, but I didn't realize. Oh, I should have realized that because that's what we're running into. The wrist pin height. Let's see. Can we show that here? That's my problem. My ri the wrist pin height. See, there's the difference in the wrist pin heights. Yeah, that's what changes. Okay. And uh, come on. Okay. Okay. There's the difference when you uh, change. Yes, that's a dome piston, but if you took that off, that'd be a flat top piston. Right there is the difference in the wrist pin height. Because they changed the, the app compared to the 350. So, and if he did that, he would be having, if we made this one fit that, then we'd be down there and there wouldn't be enough support. And this one is just different, so. It'll be simple for him to make another die. I mean, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's the <coughs> toy there. So, and right now the press is buried here. But, uh. And anyway, I got another issue to go work on. A uh, friend of mine's 07 Denali. Uh, the other day, oh, uh, this is what's happened with the car so far. They had a new battery put in it last summer. Then this fall, they had a new alternator put in it. And a week ago, they had a new starter put in it. Well, we got it going the other day. Actually, I don't think I used that video, did I? Uh, we got it going, it started every single time, and it worked until, nope, it acted up on him, he, I told him the relay that was suspected to being bad, they replaced that, it worked fine until today I guess, and now it's back to just the starter clicking, and it's a brand new starter, um, I know there's some issues with uh, the body control module on that, the BCM, They've had a power failure, and I remember reading somewhere they might have to have the BCM retalk because, but what's throwing me off is he says it clicks the starter, so it is sending the power to the starter, but the starter's just not going. And I said, well, it sounds like you got a bum starter. He goes, well, it's brand new. I said, well, it's man-made. It can and will fail. And. Uh, 
I think that's when I got to talk to him. Otherwise, I'll run back home and get on the internet. Uh, I read a whole bunch on that the other day when I when he first had the problem, and uh, I remember the BCM might have to be relearned because that day it was too. It was showing low voltage. Well, we found a cord plugged in that had a light in it, but we. It shouldn't have been drawing that much, but we took it out and the voltage came up and stayed there. And he says the voltage is not down today, but he says it just clicks. So it's either it could be an ignition switch or I got to ask him if anything ever has flashed with the security system. Or uh, I know some guys even said something about the wires were frayed a little down at the starter, so. But we could see through the wheel well, and of course, what we could see, I mean, everything looks good, I mean, so. But, uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh,. So I'm just thinking about that. And I just got th thinking something here. No, that's not right. Because he made that one for 454 pistons. 350. Yep, I just forgot the 400s. <laughs> uh, so yeah. I'm just thinking out loud here. I don't know if we're going to have the issue fixed or have it fixed by the time you guys watch this so if anybody else has had that problem with the Denali please let me know because there was I don't know I might have to run back home that's okay if I do run home and then I can let my buddy know hey we gotta I gotta send that 400 piston with you because I forgot those are different wrist pin heights and I should have known that I asked him if he wanted to take it that day and he said nah I'll be okay yeah. All right, well, uh, I guess I'm going to decide if I'm going to run back to town quick. And so far, today's doing pretty good. I mean, it's better than it's been. And I'm anxious to use this because we got the V6, the 4.3. Uh, I'll start with that bad rod and piston and that because those are the same as the Vortec, the 4.3s or the Vortec, the, the 350 pistons, they're just my... So, uh, yeah, but no, the rods are, rods are the same length, but they're made different, so you can't use them in a V8, so, yeah. Uh, I know some of you are probably going, hey, there's your rod for your V6. No, it's a different one. Uh, all right, I'm starting to babble, sorry. I'm going to go do something. All right. Oh, my poor tummy. Had to come home and look up some stuff on this Denali and oh yeah, my tummy anyway. I was going to bring up something. I don't know if you, anybody else is enjoying it, but gas prices are on the drop. Here in town, it's down to 252 or so. I'll see here in a second, but one town here in Iowa was down to $1.99 a gallon. Like, damn! That would make so much difference in this country. We get gas down to where people can afford to go do stuff again. Yeah, that... It would sure cheapen up the wife's drive to work and give us just a little extra money. I mean, that's nice. <laughs> anyway, I got a couple ideas to check on that Denali. Uh, could be the ignition switch. Could be the body control module or... It could be the ignition relay. Yep, 253 is what it is here right now. And I already got a hold of my buddy about making another dive for the 400 pistons for Chevys. And it's like, okay, no problem. And then there's another one that they're working on. I got to get them a measurement of that. And I'll have another tool. It's too bad they couldn't build me a metal lathe. <laughs> Well, they could, but it 
cost more than what you can go buy one. So anyway, uh, we're going to go out to Denali and check what I know, but part of me, I think it's going to have to go in and be reprogrammed because there were some TSBs on that that, uh, uh, really? Some guy was going to pass. Uh, oh, wow, they got rid of that place. Huh. Darn, missed another fire. Uh, yeah, they, but, duh. Uh, anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. All right. Okay, just got done messing with the Donali and we're more stumped than what we were before. I talked to the guy before I come over and he says it's not doing a thing. Nothing. Lights are coming on on the dash net, but it don't click, it don't turn over, don't do nothing. I went home, did some more reading on it. Come on, got thinking I high. Kind of got an idea. It could be the run ignition module or whatever. Great chance and hit the starter and it cranked but it wouldn't fire i turned over forever but it wouldn't fire did that four times and i called him to let him know i was on the out there because he was in the house he's down in his basement and called him to let him know i'm out there and i said hey, you know this thing's cranking over he goes what i said it cranks over but it won't fire and i reached in and hit the key to let him hear it crank over and the son of a bitch started <laughs> and we've sat there we put it in a park we've moved it back and forth we've I mass sit there mass and flipping the ignition switch and it has started 30 30 times in a row we I tried making it to fall on its face and it won't and now he's got to enter in it tail light issue it works when it wants to on the passenger side. So, and there's a BCM in there, body control module. I said either there's something wrong with the electrical thing up on the steering column. It's, it's not communicating properly with the EC, BCMs in the computer. We just don't understand what's going on with this vehicle. And uh, I see one lonely cow out there, and I don't see any other. So I know they had one blue so a couple miles away last night. So hey, wonder's my place. It's free beef, right? Ah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't, pheasant, um, yeah, we're just really getting stumped in. And I said, unfortunately, if it is that body control module, because there is, a, like I said, a TSB on it, and uh, that's something the dealer would have to do. I can't do it, because everybody says you need a GM Tech 2, GM Tech 2 tool to go in and work on that so and that's something I don't got and I don't have the man money for so uh, anyway but he said that's a new new issue and I guess it hasn't wor worked completely flawlessly since we worked on it over the weekend but he was changed relays around and it popped off and worked for f four days, three days. So anyway, all right, I don't want to think about that. And I'm going to go back in the shop here and play for a little while. See if maybe I can get uh, the press out and we can try that out and make sure everything works. I'll do that modification take that sharp edge off that one well actually I don't have to that's for another yeah anyway oh I'm just blabbing sorry okay all right I think I figured out what we got to do here now we're gonna have to make another pin pusher because uh, this one fits the big blocks 
then the small block one, the old stuff, just fine, nice and loose. New style pistons, it's too tight. They shrank the wrist pin hole. So, and then I think if he gets the 400 piston made, the die for that, because uh, you got your bigger diameter, and it'll sit on there just fine, but the wrist pin's in the wrong spot. So, I think if he gets one made for this, that'll cure two problems I got. Some of my race pistons are made like this. Well, I've got the problem. Uh, got the problem here. It hits the hits the die. Well, this one's going to take care of the majority of them. What I think I'm going to have to do to this die is slice back, take that much off each side, that much more, and maybe just a little more down on that one. This one here is going to get a lot of them. And I took that to the belt sander, as you can see. I took the corners off. I beveled that now. And that helps. But uh, we're not 100% yet. There's a little tweak in the do yet. But as for the 454, works fine. The 400 pistons, no. This one... Uh, no, it's still the wrist pin. What I put, and this is what's confusing here. Uh, let's see. Right, come on. Okay. Here's a 400 small block piston right here. Put that in there. Here's this uh, 350 piston. And this is what's confusing me. See the bottom oil ring right here they're at the same height okay I do that with that piston that's this is the 400 and here is a 350 350 to 350 these are both 350 pistons this one here my hand there sits at a different height right here so yeah and then the okay yeah those two can go together and then the new style pistons here thought it would fit on this well evidently they changed the piston casting size there so I've got that much gap under there and uh, but it works with this other die just fine. I mean, I can get that all closed up and it's supported. So, uh, pretty sure this one's going to be okay the way it is. Well, no, I'll have them cut just a little more off this one and then make a new one for the 400 and that race piston there. Well, then I should be pretty much covered on everything I want to deal with. And then I think have them make one more of these to fit the new style pistons. And then that should pretty much take care of everything I'll ever work on. Uh, so I guess we won't be testing it out yet today. I'd like to, but we're not going to be able to. Because I can't use the dirt pusher to push on. I gotta get that 454 piston in here yet too before I lose that or drop it. Because I'm thinking what I'm gonna have them do though. See, that's fairly short right here. I think I'm gonna go have them go about another three quarter inch deep. That's why I gotta get the 4504 one in here. So, otherwise, yeah, he's got this thing. Yes, I nailed that. <laughs> He's got this right on and getting there. And then I'm sitting here thinking, nah, I wonder if I got enough scrap iron. I've got another little 12 ton jack, you know, if it takes 6,000 pounds. 
that's or yeah, six thousand pounds. Uh, no, six ton of fresh. I don't remember. I'm almost thinking about building a little, just a. But then that's another thing to keep in the shop, and I've got a press already, so. Okay. Kind of getting flustered here on what. Uh, anyway, all right. Okay, I got that one fitting really good. I ground one way, then another, so it's kind of two step there. Now it fits this piston perfect. This one fits that piston plus the 454 in others. And then he makes the one to fit this. And then one more of those to fit that new one. We're good to go. That should pretty much cover everything I'll ever do. But uh, all I know is I didn't bring anything with me to drink today. I forgot. And uh, I gotta get away from this. I'm thinking too much on it. Uh, got some measurements for my bender here that he needed. He needed to know that size there. Uh, cross is 790 and 697 up and down. So, because he's making me, they're making me a square tubing bender. He can't use those because it just crumples the tube. So, they're working on that too. So, yeah. One more pin pusher, one more die. And I think I'll be in the business of uh, taking pistons off and on. It's funny that it seems that the 350 and the 454 seem like they got the same wrist pin height. Because they both fit the same jig. The only reason this one don't fit is because the way the piston's made. That's why he did that one. So, see, this one will. Ooh, yeah, that was just just close it was and you know there's current I'm not gonna he's not gonna be able to make every possible conceivable die for me I mean a lot of these will work here and I guess if it comes down to it someday maybe we might just have to nip that off and I don't know but all I know is this is a lot stronger than what I was using before so I guess I'm gonna go home Bring me a bunch of water because I've sure gotten rid of it today. I just starting to feel a little funky and I'm gonna get out there and check my blood sugars and uh so yeah, and I gotta go home and look at that Denali stuff anyway. Oh yeah. Oops. Look at all the mud. That's in there and I don't include what's in the bottom of the uh, black pill there. There's plenty. So, oh no, I don't know if you noticed this. I do have a little bottle jack. I don't know. I'm almost kind of thinking about building a little, its own little press here, you know. I've got some metal. I could buy some metal that wouldn't cost that much. And just so I might go home and reshirt. Press, little presses like that and come up with some ideas and maybe make that a dedicated one and just leave that one alone. Either way, gives me a project to do. We need one. So, anyway guys, I think I'm going to go home, get this edited up and put this up and see how you guys like today so and uh, I guess I, I'll say this a couple of you guys said don't bottle it up inside let it out and if I ain't got nobody here to talk to about it they said they had no problems with me putting it out here on YouTube and a couple of you guys got a hold of me last night to make sure I was okay after watching the video and I thank you very much as you guys said you don't care about what I do you care about me as a person and thank you.
So, well, you guys all take care. Hope you have a good weekend that we're coming into. And God bless everyone.